Hey everybody, it's Chase again with American Vintage Adventures and today we are doing a little something different. I am at world famous Daytona Beach and I'm at one of my favorite places to eat and hang out here at Daytona Beach and I thought I'd bring you guys along with me. As you can see the view is spectacular. We are here at Racing's North Turn. It's actually in Ponce Inlet right here at Daytona Beach and it gets its name as we'll talk about later because it is at the location where they used to make the north turn when the nascar race was actually held on the beach so that's where it gets its name it has a lot of nascar tradition and nascar uh, memorabilia i'm not the biggest nascar fan in the world or anything but i love the history there's a lot of autograph memorabilia and i'm so glad this place was hit very hard by the hurricane uh, last year and I'm very glad to see that it is back open and that a lot of the memorabilia survived They had to redo some things in here, but I'm looking forward to eating here again It's the first time I've been here in a few years I'm glad you guys are along with me for the ride and uh, I'll show you what I eat what I drink It's just a really fun place. They got a live band going you sit right out here on the water And so let's get this adventure started uh, Let's go do this Bill and eat shrimp, supercharged popcorn shrimp, calamari, jumbo wings, grilled shrimp flatbread, potato bomb, ahi tuna mini tacos, pulled pork nachos, that's just for appetizer, roadside course, I love the names of everything, the roadside course, obviously not seafood, that's all chicken and uh, steak, ribs, pork, barbecue. We'll get the drink menu very shortly, don't worry. How cool is this place though? Very, very cool. Glad to see it open back after the hurricanes. They were able to save a lot of the memorabilia. So, it's uh, it's all put back a little bit different than the last time I was here, but very, very cool and so happy that it survived the hurricane. This is what the original Daytona race looked like. They actually raced on the beach, and this place gets its name, Racing's North Turn, because where this restaurant sits is where they made the north turn in the race and came back so this was part of the loop so this was actually the north turn back when they actually raced the daytona um, nascar race on the beach Got a little classic novelty old school race car in here <laughs> Sauce. 
will give you an idea of how on the beach it is. There's the beach. Here's where we're sitting. That's on the beach. Tell the difference when the fish is fresh. There's a really good group of ruby. I'm going to eat it now. All right, guys, that's about going to do it for our little trip here to Racing's North Turn in Daytona Beach. The food was amazing. It's obviously great setting right there on the beach. I mean, that is so cool. And then all of the history, whether you're a racing fan or not, like I said, I'm not a huge racing fan. But all of the history everywhere um, just really gets you into that mood and you're being in a historic place here at the actual north turn of the old Daytona race when they, they raced on the beach. It's just really cool. The food's outstanding. I'm glad it survived the hurricane and uh, we're off on the rest of our adventure. Now, there's no telling where this Daytona trip is going to lead us, but I am going to take you guys with me every step of the way on this adventure. Come with me. I got you. Let's keep doing this. Let's go. Hey, everybody. It's Chase with American Vintage Adventures, and I am continuing my vacation, my adventure here at Daytona Beach. Today is just a lounge around the hotel and beach kind of day. So we are out here early. Got a little bit of a late start. Slept in because of our night last night at um, the North Turn. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed that. We're going to have another great outing at a cool restaurant that's a local favorite here tonight. And uh, that is called Our Deck Down Under here in Daytona. But today is just kind of a adventure as it happens sort of day. So we'll see what we can get into right now. I'm going to head to the beach. See you guys later. There's the Daytona Pier right there. And this, if I turn it around, is where we are staying. That is the Wyndham Ocean Walk. Now, in all my years of coming down to Daytona, we usually stay at a little resort hotel right on the beach called Perry's. 
uh, Ocean Edge Resort. But this time, we were able to get uh, a really big room here through uh, an ownership in Wyndham uh, Properties. So we have a nice big room here, and it's already paid for. That makes the adventure even sweeter. Trust me, free 99 is a great price. And tonight we are continuing our Daytona Beach adventures with one of my favorite hole-in-the-wall great restaurants here at Daytona Beach and that is our deck down under this is another great fresh seafood place that sits right down on the water uh, it's an open air type of restaurant so even if you're sitting inside you've got that nice sea breeze blowing through from one side to the other they have great fresh fish they always have a uh, fresh uh, catch of the day. They have amazing jalapeno bacon cheddar grits that they make in-house. In-house fresh made hush puppies. And it, it uh, they make their own tartar sauce. Everything is really, really good. It's not a chain restaurant. It's a mom and pop place that has been here for a really long time. And I always have to visit every time I come to Daytona. And this time I'm going to take you guys along with me. So I'm going to go in, check and see what we're going to have. I usually go with my favorite, which is the fresh fish basket here. I usually get it grilled or blackened, comes with fries, hush puppies, and I get those great uh, jalapeno cheddar bacon uh, cheese grits on the side. Maybe a uh, fresh made crab cake on the side as well and uh, just kind of go to town. So uh, as I go on this food adventure here at our deck down under at Daytona, I'm gonna take you guys with me, show you a little bit what it's like and uh, let you know about the food. And uh, we're just gonna have a great time here in Daytona Beach tonight. I'm glad you guys are along for the ride with me. Let's go do this. All right, we got us some conch fritters. As a little appetizer here. <laughs> They're hot. <laughs> but good. Mm, really good. They're what? They're a little temperature hot, so my tongue is a little burned. All right, here's the spread. This is the portion of Mahi Mahi. Three big pieces, fries, hush puppies. Got a little side crab cake going on. And then, oh, the house made, homemade jalapeno bacon cheddar grits. Start with some grits. Mm. So good. Every time. So good. Cheesy. A little kick from the jalapeno. You taste the fresh made real bacon. Very good. And the mahi is always fresh. It's so good. You can always taste when fish is fresh instead of frozen. It's so good doesn't even need anything but their tartar sauce is so good and their cocktail sauce is amazing both made in-house you have to try it and then the crab cake oh, so good worth every bit of it and that doesn't even get to their homemade hush puppies which are perfect it is also good as always it is time for me to chow down, and I'll see you later. All right, so that wraps it up for us here at our deck down under. And hey, look, the sign is all lit up now. Pretty cool. Food was great. Oh, I ate too much, and still, the portions are so huge, I still couldn't eat it all. I still probably had a whole piece and a half of fish left, and several hush puppies. Just absolutely stuffed, and... Uh, just great as always. This is one of my favorite places here in Daytona. I'm glad you guys were along with me on this part of the adventure and we're going to continue this on. We still got another night or the rest of tonight and another day and night in Daytona, but uh, tomorrow we're driving over to Disney. So I'll see you guys a bit later.
Hey everybody, it's Chase with American Vintage Adventures again, and today we are continuing our Daytona Beach adventure. Last night we were at Disney World, and we were there for the Happily Ever After return. We did Crystal Palace review, and today has been a lounge around the beach day. We are going to head out tonight again to my favorite place, which is the North Turn. Have dinner, I'm gonna try some different things for you guys tonight. Take a look at a few different things, maybe the view a little bit, Bit more uh, review some different foods some different specialty drinks and uh, have a great final day here on this spring break Daytona Beach adventure right now once you have a little look around at the view Just a little bit of the sights and sounds from Daytona Beach, right here on the beach. Got uh, some chairs rented today. Uh, it's a couple of, four chairs, a couple of umbrellas, and it's just a few short steps from our hotel uh, in the pool area where there's a full bar and everything like that. It's just a few short steps away down here to the sand of the beach and get to just lay around and lounge, kind of a relaxing day. We didn't get in until after midnight last night with the happily ever after fireworks and the crowds that were getting out of there. But it was a lot of fun and today is a lot of relaxing until we head home in the morning. So a little bit more on this adventure and I'm gonna bring you guys along with me. So just give you a quick look around the pool area out here. There are two pools two pools, a little water slide, there's a small lazy river, there's a really awesome poolside bar out here that's really good food, good burgers, some nachos, mozzarella sticks, things like that, uh, and of course lots of mixed drinks, you can get anything you want, their specialties, they have everything from pina coladas and goombay smash to pretty much whatever you can think of, Mai Tai, Bahama Mama, the standard drinks like that. But um, it's just a really cool vibe, and it's just literally down about eight steps right to the sand of the beach. So we kind of come from our spot down there, up here, and I'll try to give you guys a little bit more look around. But there are a lot of people, and there are a lot of people in bathing suits, you know, with like a creeper filming everyone. Uh, but a little bit of an overview, and um, we're about to call it quits for today. It's going on four o'clock. We're gonna go in, get showered up, and head to uh, the North Turn, like I mentioned earlier, for our second round at the North Turn. And uh, I think the I think he's not happy about that. But we are going to the North Turn again tonight, trying some new stuff, and uh, I'll take you guys along with me. So have a look around, and I'll see you later. It's one pool, and as you can see, the view, the ocean is right there, just steps away. The pool bar out here, the bucket list pool bar. Bucket list bar and grill, baby. Great little hangout. There's the lazy river going by. And the steps to the beach. It's just right down there. It's world famous Daytona Beach. There's another pool. So there's another pool down at the other end. It's the same, it's just split up so that one doesn't get too crowded. The only difference is it has a little pool, uh, water slide, not very big. And um, right here is your lazy river that runs through the middle. You pretty much hang out between the pool on this end and the lazy river with the pool bar just steps away and the gate to Daytona Beach just right there as well. And uh, it's a really good spot to sit, chill, and relax. All right, time to go get ready, call it a day, head in to see if we can get a great table at North Turn. All right, so we are at North Turn for our second round tonight. 
and a way to say goodbye. Uh, gonna come out here and try some different food, enjoy the sunset out here on the beach, and wrap up this Daytona adventure. Come with me, let's go do this. <laughs> the view from our table out here at uh, North Turn. Pretty nice. I think tonight we're going to go for the Goofy Foot, which is banana and coconut rums mixed with orange, pineapple, and pomegranate juice, and it comes in this real coconut, carved coconut, like I need it, but hey, he's a cool pirate coconut. And look, hey, it's also a coin bank. Take me home. Arr. <laughs> All right. We got our drink in the coconut. Look at this fella. This is a goofy foot. I don't know that there's a good way to get down on this thing. It's really good, straight from the coconut's head. Taste the coconut, the pomegranate. You don't taste the liquor at all, which is uh, always dangerous. Like it says at the bottom, have fun. So we're gonna do it. Of course, for the appetizer, we had to get the pulled pork nachos again. These are too good to pass up. Perfect. The pork is so good. Barbecue sauce chips. The other night they had the. It's the whole deal, baby. This is the blackened grouper melt with provolone and sauteed onions and fresh grouper with fries. See if we can get a bite here. Fresh fish, good fish sandwich. Very good. All right, guys, that is about going to do it for our Daytona adventure. Uh, we just finished up here night two at the North Turn, and it is time to go back to the hotel, pack up and get ready to head back to Georgia in the morning. Um, we did a lot on this trip. We had a couple days here in Daytona. We shot over to Disney World. We did Epcot, some flower and garden, some festival booths. We were there for Happily Ever Afters, big return. And then uh, we've hit our deck down under and a couple of my favorite spots here, including um, the North Turn. And now it's time to wrap it up. I'm gonna be back at Disney real soon in just a couple of weeks um, for several more days. And I have lots of videos from my recent adventures at Disney World and Universal Studios, all set and getting ready to edit and put out for you guys. So loads and loads of content coming. So if you enjoy going on these adventures with me, just do me a favor and like and subscribe. It really helps me out. Throw me a comment. I love to talk to you. You can reach me at chase at kttctravel.com. I can help you book any vacation that you'd love to go on. Or if you just want to talk and you want to uh, talk about American Vintage Adventures and Disney World, whatever, I love to talk about that. You can reach me in the comments or you can email me at ava with chase at gmail.com. But for now, from beautiful Daytona Beach, that's going to wrap it up for us this time. This is Chase with American Vintage Adventures saying have a great ABA day and I'll see you real soon. Bye bye.